All right, so this is problem nine. Problem nine reads, the population of a new settlement is growing at the rate of dp dt, which is pretty much p prime of t, is 50t to the 3 halves minus 40t, where p is the population of the settlement t years after it was founded. If 1,000 people moved into the settlement initially, what is the population four years later? So they give us p prime, the rate at which the population is changing, and they give us an initial condition. So let's state the initial condition. So the initial condition is pretty much when p is zero, that's the initial, initially, we have 1,000 people in the settlement. Okay? And we want to find out how many people in the settlement are, are there after four years later. So we want to find p4. P4 is what? How many people? Okay, so with this given information, this P prime, we need to find the function P of X. In order, or sorry, P of T in this case. To find P of T, we need to take the antiderivative. Okay? So we need to take the antiderivative here. But when we take the antiderivative, we're going to get a constant at the end. But with that constant, we can use this initial condition to find that constant. Okay, so let's go ahead. We have PT, so P prime T. We write this p prime t is 50 t to the 3 halves minus 40 t. So how do we take the antiderivative of this? Okay, so we take if we take the antiderivative of this, we're going to get the function p t, and that's exactly what we want. Okay, so if we're going to take the antiderivative of, let's just focus on this one. 50 is a constant, so I'll just bring 50 outside. Now we want to find a function that if we take the derivative of that function we'll get t to the 3 halves. However, we know the power rule for antiderivatives. The power rule for antiderivatives, if you have a function x to the n, then the antiderivative is going to be x to the n plus 1 divided by n plus 1. Okay? So that's what we're going to do here. So we're going to do that for t then. So we have t to the 3 halves. So that's going to be t to the 3 halves plus 1 divided by 3 halves plus 1 minus 40 is another constant, so let's bring the 40 out t to the 1, if we apply, if we apply the rule, we'll get t squared divided by 2 okay, so far so good so now we have pt by the way, plus c, right? plus that constant, so since, since we're taking the antiderivative let's go ahead and simplify this uh, this is 5 halves, that's 5 halves so we have, um, if we have 5 halves down here Go ahead and multiply the 2 here and the 5 down there. So it's going to be 2 times 50 divided by um, a 5 down here. Yes, 5 down here. And we have t to the 5 halves. Minus 40 divided by 2 is 20. So this is 20 t squared plus c. Okay, let's do a little bit more simplifying. Go ahead and cancel out the 5. So we're left with 2 times 10, that's 20. So then pt is equal to 20 t to the 5 halves minus 20 t squared plus c. Okay, so we have this function, pt, but we have a c there. We need, to, we need to find what c is. However, we have the initial condition, and we can go ahead and find out what c is. So we know p of 0. You know, p of 0 then is going to be, plug in 0 here, 20 times 0, that's 0, 20 times 0, that's 0, so 0 minus 0 is 0, and then we're just left with c, and then c is 1,000. So now that we have that, I'm going to go ahead to save some space, I'm going to erase the c now, and I'm going to go ahead and plug in 1,000, so that's our c. Alright, so now we have the function pt. Now that we have function pt, we can find out what the population was after four years. So now let's find p4. So let's go to p4 now. Okay. That's going to be, well, we have 20 and 20. Let's factor out the 20 to, some, to help us simplify this. And then we have 4 is the same thing as saying 4 to the fifth. Square root of 4 to the fifth minus 4 squared, and then plus 1,000. Okay, 
So now we have P4. Okay, that's 20. Four to the, the square root of 4 to the 5th, we can take out uh, two 4s, so that would be 16. And the square root of the, the last 4 is going to be 2, so 16 times 2 is 32. This would be 32 minus 4 squared is 16. Plus 1,000. Okay, the P4. Then P4 is equal to 20. 32 minus 16 is 16. Plus 1,000. Then P4. 20 times 16 is... 320 plus 1,000. And finally, P4 then is going to be 1,320. Okay, so that is the problem.